Alright, so I'm sitting here in a brand new Vexus VX21. And you might ask, what's a Vexus? Well, it's a pretty new company, and what it is, it's a bunch of executives from Ranger, left Ranger to start this brand new company and kind of improve upon the Ranger brand. They are built in Flip in Arkansas, same place as Ranger. And so we're going to talk about is this truly a bass boat or could it be a hybrid multi species boat? All that coming right up. Alright, so I know the boat's in the water so we can't look at the hull, but the hull has a very aggressive uh, bow that comes up very quickly, it has a chime that breaks the waves, and it has a convex system. And you, if you want to know more about the technology and the engineering, watch some other uh, Vexus videos. That's not what this video is about. But the bottom line is, all of those components make for one of the smoothest r rides of any bass boat ever made. And they designed this boat with lakes like Mille Lacs, Leech Lake, Lake Erie, uh, you know, Lake Michigan. They, they designed it with those lakes in mind so you can get this boat out on rough water and still be comfortable. All right, one unique design is this pickle fork front. And the pickle fork front allows for much more standing area on this front deck. And again, it has to do with crashing through those waves and making for a smooth ride. So on my Vexus here, I've got three graphs. It came with two Solix 12s with a stacked uh, mount system that comes from Vexus, but I decided to put my Helix 15. And so for my purposes, I use the Helix for the 360, and that's all I use that graph for. I use this graph for the Hummingbird Live, and that's all I use that for. And then the Solix 12 over here, I use for 2D, HD mapping, things like that. So I use all three in conjunction with each other. Now the only bad thing, this boat came with a 45 inch shaft trolling motor, it's a, it's a uh, Ultrax, but this, the shaft of this 360 was designed for the 60 inch shaft. So my, my live and, and 360 are a little too close together and I'm getting a little bit of interference. So I'm probably gonna swap this out to the 52 inch uh, shaft. But other than that, the system works great. You can see there's a recessed uh, foot pedal here for the for the troll motor and also on this has a couple of raptors and I've got the quick uh, releases and, and you know deployment and and stow uh, buttons right there all right so because of that pickle fork you can actually get two people fishing up here side by side uh, let's say I'm drop shotting or fishing uh, beds in a team tournament massive massive duck space up here I've had uh, we had three guys on this front deck fishing muskies just a week ago this is one of the biggest decks of any bass boat company out there All right, so as far as storage this is a rod storage box right here and right now I've got to think about 12 uh, rods in here uh, we just went on a muskie trip to Lake of the Woods 
and we actually had 30 musky rods in this container and some of them were nine foot rods so massive storage one thing i did do over here switch places one thing i did do to this is i drilled these out myself so it didn't come that way but it gives me another level of storage and then kind of a neat thing that they put in here is this this platform and that's if you've got a rod with let's say six treble hooks a crankbait or something that you don't want to get tangled with the rest of these so I'll, obviously i just have a spinning rod in there right now but that's the, what that was uh, designed for so the decking on these right here is all designed for shedding water and a lot of times you sit down right here to tie on lures and whatnot so this is going to dry very very fast the center storage is also for rods but i'm using it for a combination tackle box and rod storage this is just the way i have it set up if i didn't have all the boxes in here i could get probably let's see six twelve probably close to 18 or 20 rods in that without all my tackle and then right here as was shown this prevents your rods from jostling around as you're driving down the road or driving down the lake tons of storage all right on the starboard side of the boat is another storage now because of the big decking system this is super deep this is deeper than most bass boats so you can really put a lot of storage in here for this one I usually keep all the rain gear and then this is a day box for my fishing partners that are with me for that day as most of you know I also coach high school fishing teams and this is where my my anglers have put their gear so you can see it just swallows up this plano bag right here lots of storage the other thing a lot of people chip the fiberglass so this strike plate right here is so that if this latch accidentally comes down and this is turned the wrong way it's going to protect it right there so again they've thought of a lot of things and then this is a latch that sucks the lid down super tight so that again no water is going to get into that storage this is kind of a day box i just use it as a junk drawer basically i throw a lot of odds and ends buoys things that i can just get to very quickly if you order the vx20 you will not have this compartment because 20 is a foot shorter as we move down off the deck you got a little seating area right here for tying line you got places where your tools need to be but there's also a handy little additional day box here and in here i've got things like my my lure knocker to get a crankbait off of a off of the stump i've got all, just all kinds of things that i can get to really quickly now as an option you can get uh, two windshields and on mine i wanted the windshield there's a very very deep compartment right here it's as deep as my hand and the glove compartment is actually so massively deep that things get lost in there i've got binoculars i've got tools i've got uh, mosquito stuff I've got you, you name it I've got it in here and again things it just swallows up all the equipment that you put in there you can see I've got a Solix 15 here at the uh, council and I use that because I do a lot of scanning looking for uh, for structure and whatnot so I like having the big screen so everything's right here easy to use I do have the hot foot foot pedal and so I've got the jack plate on this left side. I've got the power trim and tilt on the right side. This is fully adjustable. And then I've got all my gauges. There is a coded starting and it comes from the factory with a one, two, three, four code, which you can change if you prefer. Another nice thing about this, that everything I need is right here. So if I need to start filling my live well, push of a button simple it lights up and the fuse for that is is right here as well so there's no more having to open compartments to find a fuse so everything you need right here easily accessible 
So these seats come equipped with air ride seats, which most bass boats don't have. So again, this is designed for big water. And you can see there's a mechanism that you have to pump this up for depending on the weight of the person that's going to be in the seat. And then there's also a very easy sliding for moving the seat forward and backwards. Right here on this is uh, not only can this act as a seat, but it's also a cooler. And so you've got it stuff for dry goods, sandwiches, snacks and whatnot. And then you've got a deep cooler. The other day I had over 25 water bottles plus a few of these big Gatorades and a bag of ice and it still took care of all that. So it'll fit more than enough for a day's fishing. So they didn't think that they didn't miss anything. They designed this so that you've got a place for your net to store. And this is a big frable. It's a very large net because again I fish multi-species. I'm not just fishing bass but perfect place to store it. It's out of the way when you're running, but easy to get to when you need to net a fish. All right, their live well system is unique. It's got these plexiglass plates that cover, and not only is it a deep live well, but it comes with an oxygenator. But the idea behind these, these uh, glass plexiglass is that while I'm running down the lake, I can open this up and look to see how my fish are doing. But more importantly, there's a lever where I can change how much water goes into here and I can fill it all the way to the top, which means if I'm running in with five bass or my walleye and I'm in rough water, when you have the water up to the level of this glass, it creates like a vacuum and the fish don't slosh around. I had a tournament just a couple of weeks ago and we were running down the lake and opened this to see how the fish were doing and they were just chilling as, as you know like they were in in the lake basically they weren't being affected by the rough water and that the half portion of the boat you've got some again massive storage boxes again super deep because of the deep hull and on this side i've got some incidental tackle and things for for uh for the boat and then on this one is mainly safety things. I've got all my life jackets, my, my first aid kit, all my insurance information's in that dry box, and then things for wiping down the boat at the end of the day. Okay. So the last compartment is where all the meat and potatoes is, but look at how clean this is. I can get to these, all these bilge pumps very easily. All the wiring it's easy to get to i've got a spare prop there and plus extra room if i needed to store tools and things in addition to that this is the the running light for at night and speaking of that the running lights on the bow are built in so there is no no, no adapter nothing to put in so mine has two raptors twin raptors they're the eight foot models and then i've got the uh, mercury Pro XS 250 four-stroke engine. Very quiet engine, plenty of power. Uh, this probably won't be the fastest bass boat in the world, but I can get up into the mid-60s, high-60s if I pull out some of my tournament equipment. Um, you'd be pushing it to hit 70 miles an hour, I believe, but it is rated for a 300 as well. So if you wanted more speed, just order yourself the 300. So in summary, is this a multi-species boat? I would say, yes, it could be used as a multi-species boat. But if you're mainly going to be fishing muskie and walleye, then you may want to go with the DX from Vexus, which is a deep V. And it's a beautiful boat, but it's going to have way bigger cockpit area, like a typical, like a ranger fisherman, for instance. Uh, but if you're primarily bass fishermen and occasionally want to fish muskies and walleye, this is a great boat, fantastic boat. And like I said, it swallows those waves. It just crashes into those waves and kicks all the spray away from the boat. So it's a very dry and comfortable run, especially with the, with the seats. So hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.